nobody's speaking on Alex's behalf anymore. It is what it is. Furthermore, I don't, and, and one of them is on a panel right now. He, he disrespects the fuck out of black women consistently. But the minute that I'm actually advocating for people, it's an uproar today and it doesn't even make any sense. And I don't appreciate the energy too. Like I said, that's why I said, it don't even gotta be no back and forth. She said, you ain't gotta come if you feel unsafe. This nigga threatened to shoot me and I'm the one that's being dramatic. Like you can't make this shit up for real. He said last week, I would have, now that one thing Diamond did have right is that I did say months ago I wasn't coming. I messaged Poetic, that's an email that I said poetic and I said I wasn't coming for personal reasons. She was, she's truthful about that. But then I did say yesterday upon the panel that I was coming and I said in nosy panel last night that I was coming. The bottom line of it is, is that we pick and choose who get to be disrespectful and we pick and choose what we want to hear and it keeps happening. A lot of y'all don't, you can't really pan out why you don't fuck with me outside of being mad that I'm smart. And yes, I am long winded at times and I can admit that I am. Okay, but a lot of y'all, when we break down bitches like Blazing, and we really ask them why they don't like it, it's based off looks and intelligence. Y'all are fucking weird. You hate intelligence. You hate any anybody like me that looks like me that's as smart and intelligent. It's envy, and that's okay. So I've decided this, Manny. I just don't have to be around, and nobody has to be upset about that. This is not a oh well with Alex. I don't need Diamond to reach out to me and beg me for for her for grace or to come around none of that she's good where she's at that is a grown woman and i respect her wishes when it comes to her panel but y'all not finna sit up on july 31st and play me at all it's not happening what happened to me was disrespectful as fuck today the men got to be disrespectful as fuck which is nothing new but today was really out of control and i kept letting it slide they talked over me the entire time and then before she even got the full story about everything, she jumped to the conclusion of me talking about her. Believe the bullshit that they said. Didn't replay no clips about what they said to me when I didn't do that. Bryson, now for her to say, well, Bryson didn't have a ticket. Bryson said last week he had a ticket. I don't have the goddamn roster about who's coming and who's not coming. So I'm going based off what he said. And if he said he's coming to the gala and he's threatening to harm me, you damn right I'm going to say I fear for my life. And other people put that in the comment section. So I'm not understanding yet again for those in the back. That Bush should have left behind. If somebody's gonna make a threat to my motherfucking life, you damn right I'm gonna comment on it. And that should be the focal point of the conversation rather than Alex is trying to ruin my event. Da 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 da. When have I ever did diamond like that? When? When? Alex, I wanna, and nobody I wanna, can, would ever I wanna say no, something real quick to on. you too. This is hold on, and I'm, I'm and I'm gonna end on this. I'm going to keep reiterating. When you asked me, Manny, earlier, where now? I'm going to keep saying they need to go to this lady's. They need to go to this beautiful woman's event. Continue to support her. Continue to give her the love, financially, emotionally, all of that stuff. But I'm not about to get played like I'm some dumbass bitch who just woke up today and I and is going to be gaslighted about all of this shit. I was disrespected. Lies were believed. Nothing was cleared up. Clips were not replayed. I got all this smoke. But this nigga threatened to fight, and he didn't catch all of that shit. And that's the bottom line. Thank you, and I'm about to drop, unless this dumbass bitch Blazer want to come back up. No, thank you so much. Bunch of um, fucking following ass bitches. They too scared to say something to their favorite content creator, but they so-called love Diamond. Right. You love why, somebody, you correct the bullshit. Why are you leaving, Alex, when people love and support you? No, you set that shit up. I, I don't decide. You said you smart. I'm you smart too. You don't even too. have a job, I like Marshall. To, I like Please pick, have a good one. I like, to pick, I like to pick those who think they smart brain. I like to play chess intellectually. Marshall, I like to use metaphors, philosophy. I'm going to answer another time. Honey. I like I'm to about talk about it all. Marshall, you play we're that. not going to do you this play right that now. You just, you Hold just on, stated the narrative. You Hold on, Marshall. Marshall, we're not going to do this right now because you're over 50 with a roommate and you guys jack off in bed together. Stop. Alex. Do not walk away. People have been voting. You may have a nomination. You may be one of the favorites. I hate that this is all happening, but Me we too. need to take a deep breath and just calm down and stop making permanent decisions with temporary feelings. Uh, Multiple people called out serious. Bryson. They said this guy was wrong. Let's just please just debrief. Like, it has gone so far, like, like from this morning. It's just up to this point. And then everybody was coming in speaking for Alex. 
And I'm I'm assuming just from hearing that they were somewhat close on it because Alex has already stated that nothing was resolved or handled. So um so I guess Alex and both Bryce now have unresolved issues. And this is what I mean by the people keeping it up because him with the people was over here keeping it up in the beginning and now everybody got unresolved issues. This is cray cray. And I thought everybody loved Bryce. I don't even know what's going on. Bryce ain't gonna be thinking about her. Remember when he said, I'm almost rich. I'm almost rich with his country ass voice. He ain't gonna be when he gets to that game, he ain't gonna be thinking about her. Come on now, let's 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 use this narrative. Like, like it's gonna be a whole lot of people there. Man, he gonna probably get to having a good time and just going about his business. Like, man, I ain't I ain't mm-hmm. sweating that long. She don't say nothing to me. We said a whole bunch of people at. Bison, Bison was threatening to be real to go to the gallery. He wasn't necessarily coming there for her. She got I know she got scared for and I understand. She probably thought she, she he was gonna come there for be real. And she was gonna be there, and whatever he said, he gonna shoot her and shit. That's some foul ass shit, bro. So what he kept saying though? What he kept saying though? Diamond is like my mom. You think he gonna? You think he gonna embarrass her like that? That's who, that's you really think he's gonna who, that's embarrass what, her? He like that's like why he was mom, going to Atlanta. Too. He was like, Bison was like, whatever his name is. He was like, come to the gala. I'm gonna see you at the gala. That's why Diamond was like, stop saying the fucking gala. <laughs> Man, that man, that man, that man diamond is like a mom. Man. You think he gonna ruin that and embarrass her like that? Come on, now let's be realistic. Hold on, Marshall. She did that Marshall, shit, man. Let me hear from the real fine wine. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Hey, how you doing? Please drive me. Okay. Go ahead, Marshall. Go ahead, Marshall. No, I'm saying she painted that shit. Cause she she just went, I'm sitting here listening. I went upstairs because I ain't want to hear her bullshit. Cause I knew she was fabricating and lying. That's why she dropped down quick. Cause I was gonna call her out on her intelligence. I like to fuck with motherfuckers whose intelligence is sharp. So it's gonna make me sharper. So I'm like Goku, you know what I'm saying? I go ultra interesting on shit. But anyway, she did, she did, she did tell that nigga, tell him to clock that motherfucker like that for the disrespect, because she just said it, trying to throw that, she tried to throw it in there. If y'all caught it, she tried to throw it. Yeah, when I felt disrespected, but you know what I'm You said you didn't clock it for the disrespect when he said this shit, but you throw, you gonna also throw in. He threatened me to try to get, to, to try to get the egg going in her favor. You know what I'm She did some slick shit, and y'all ain't paying attention to that, man. That's why she dropped down, because I was gonna call her on it. She did do that shit intentionally. That shit was purpose. Marshall, you have to stop room, sounding so I was so in the angry. room the whole time. I was in the room the whole time. I was in the room from the time the white girl got up there. Because I said something like, damn, man, that's, that's a damn shame. A white girl got to come up here and support the black man because the woman, the woman said, I use y'all just for y'all penis. I use the niggas just for their penis. But I got the white boy over here, so she basically telling y'all she got a white boy at home, but she still getting her rocks off with niggas because they fuck good. Ooh, okay. Okay. Marcia, like, we, he, on, we hear you smoking it. We hear you smoking them trees, but you instead of just going about your way and smoke your trees, you want to be up here agitating us. I don't even think it's a tree. Hell, I think it's yeah, power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, somebody got my motherfucking. Yeah, ain't nobody say somebody got my somebody got my main account banned permanently. Ain't nobody say. Let me hear from Stallion. Stallion, go ahead. Let me hear from you. Hey, Manny. Thank you for letting me. How you doing, boo? I have never been over here before, so I appreciate you welcoming me up on the panel. Yeah. Um, I just want to say a couple things. Um, I go to the Diamond Show pretty much every morning if I can make it there. Um, I do enjoy the show, but I do also, I see a lot of stuff that also goes on. And I'm, I'm with Alex when it's two and three things can be true at once. That's absolutely true. 
And I just want to know, like, when, whether it's the mafia, whether it's just her supporters, I don't know. I don't care what people want to call. They said, when y'all going to wake up and realize Diamond is not God? I'm sorry. Like, I'm not trying to be funny, but she's a human being just like the rest of us. And what's the problem with clocking Diamond if she need to be clocked? We clock everybody else. What's wrong with clocking people when they need to be clocked? Hmm. I don't understand that, right? Diamond is not going to be perfect. And I'm sure that woman understands that, right? So I don't understand what the energy and the beef is with anybody who has something to say or a grievance to state as if, she, excuse me, as if she handles every single thing perfectly. Because none of us she can do She's trying to be perfect for y'all. Y'all putting her on this pedestal. She who vibing. Can he, can he who the fuck is y'all? She vibing. Can he if, I thought, if I had somebody on the pedestal, I'd be acting just like the rest of y'all following ass niggas. You got me fucked up. That's first of all. And I wasn't allowed on the panel because I was going to tell Diamond this myself. But it's very selective when it when it comes to the panel as well. And I'm getting to that, right? It's a routine of y'all that get up in that panel and is able to sit in that bitch all motherfucking the whole show. But some of us who want to fuck with Diamond show, who might want to be mafia, not necessarily me, but I'm just saying because I know a lot of y'all be bitch and ain't going to be able to say this shit at the end of the day. Some of y'all that want to be mafia can't be mafia because the boxes stay filled up with the same motherfuckers. At, and then when you want to come up to speak on something, you basically blackball because motherfuckers ain't going to let you up, especially when they watching the comments and see that you might be opposition to what the fuck Diamond feel or y'all ass feel. You can't even get up in that motherfucker. And when you do, all y'all feel like y'all can come the fuck up off y'all mics like somebody scared and fuck all y'all. Ain't nobody scared of y'all. That's what's real wild to me. But um, like I say, I do support the Diamond show. I love watching her show. But when that white lady came up there, y'all never, and it's every white person that come up there, ever since I've been watching the Diamond show when she was in work and security, period. Every YT person that come to fuck up there, y'all always want to play this coddling ass game. And like Alex said, hours on end, y'all motherfuckers stop the actual Diamond show to address about this bitch and fuck her. I don't care who, how nobody feel about it. Fuck her for coming up there thinking she gonna tell a black woman that she's the bottom of the barrel. And like Javon and Zodiac and Alex had been saying and clocking that bitch, that anti-black bitch, like they had been saying, right? But y'all can only hear the YT voice. And then y'all so stupid, y'all following ass, goofy ass, pandering ass, Coonesian ass niggas always got something to say when somebody clock a white bitch. And that's weird as fuck. Because y'all disrespect each other all morning, every morning. That's half of the reason we come to the Diamond Show to begin with. Let's keep it the fuck G. We like the drama. We like the mess. We like the bullshit. But why the fuck we don't have no protection for ourselves? And when we got to say something, we got to stop the motherfucking show. You know what I'm saying? Because, oh, no, this white lady should be comfortable. And nobody, it ain't about her being the fuck comfortable. It's about her being harmful. And the fact that y'all can't separate the two is sick. The bitch said some out the way ass shit and she should be stopped in the middle of that weak ass sentence. She should have been stopped, period. And the fact y'all went and ran and grabbed a clip stat is further insane. Cause I ain't never seen y'all niggas go run and get no goddamn click that quick for nobody else black that says they feel disrespected. Y'all don't give a fuck, you wait for the T pages. So fuck all y'all. And if, and if Diamond and anybody feel some type of way about it, you just feel the fuck some type of way. Because some of us ain't scared of you niggas on here. We don't give a fuck. And we're going to speak our mind. And we can also support you at the same time and fuck with your show. But that does not mean that you're perfect. <sighs> so I, so. I, I will say Diamond does not think she's perfect. I just had a conversation with Diamond and she literally said, Peach, I'm just a regular person. So... I think that perfect label and that guy label, that's something that people on the app are applying to her. I don't feel like she walks around and commands that or labels herself as that. That's what other people are putting her on when it comes to a pedestal. I, I and, and you know what, Peach? You absolutely right, but I am gonna say this. Silence is complacency. So Diamond see that, and she's a grown woman. She see what y'all do, and she don't Please. clock it. So at the same time, if you're not gonna clock it, the cash out say for the agree. people that want And that's just how I feel about it. Tonight. Because if she know her mafia act like that, she know you. people put her on that pedestal instead of saying, look, y'all, don't do that. I'm just as human as everybody else. I'm not no motherfucker. Uh, the cash app said for the people that want to hear from Nosy tonight. That's all it said. Um, go style. Okay. Well, you, um, you hold on. 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 Hold
that's going to give people the image, right? That Diamond feels that same way that the people who speak like that do, right? And some of this stuff, it's just got to be said sometimes because it, it, that's what it gives the people. We love the fuck out the Diamond Show. We're not going to sit up here and act like we don't see what we see. Who y'all should be mad if y'all want shit. to. Diamond with, got to clock it sometimes. Diamond got to stand up and say, look, y'all put me on all these pedestals, making me look him, like this and making me look him, like that, and to the rest of my supporters, uh, people who actually fuck with me is crazy. This uh, uh, what you say, Drop Queen? So I was asking you to mute Manny so she can finish. Are you finished, uh, Talia? Uh, but let me say this. I be trying to tell y'all the streets be talking, okay? The streets be talking. And I just, I, I mean, I try to hear everybody out. And when you're somebody who tries to hear everybody out, a lot is said. Um, just like Sus said earlier, that don't mean I agree with what's being said. That don't mean any of that. I just take in what y'all are saying and try to report the news. But again, when I say the people, these are the people. And like, go ahead, Drop Queen. This is thank you. Uh, this thank you, Manny. I have a question. If you go into Walmart and they have a wet floor sign that says wet floor, we're not responsible if you fall and you fall, who are you going to blame? Are Go you still going to blame sisters. Walmart? <laughs> You're going to blame Walmart, right? You're going to hold Walmart responsible. Every day on your platform, I hear people tell Manny, Manny, uh, you need to control your platform. You need to control your platform, but we don't hold other creators responsible because they hide behind a, a, a cliche of don't blaming them. Who's responsible for their platform if it's not the host? See, that's how I got in trouble. That's how I got in all this shit that I'm in because I was willing to stand up for what I thought was right. So when I stood up for what I was thought was right, I was dragged. Not everybody getting dragged for standing up for what they thought it was right. But it's about time. I said last, I said a few days ago, I tell my friends what's right. I don't tell my friends what they want to hear. I told Donna what I felt was right, not to hurt her feelings, not to come against her, but I'll be wrong to myself. The first person I got to be true to is God and then myself. So if I tell her she did something wrong, I'm going to tell her I did so she did something wrong and I'm going to get drug for it and I'm going to stand 10 toes down on it. If I continually get drug a year from now, I'm going to stand on it. Nosy, she's still recapping me. She can keep recapping me because what I'm going to always do is stand for right. Now what happened today, it just shows you that she don't give a fuck. Shar is a good person. Shar is a sweet person and she tries to be right. So why does she give that energy to Shaw? Because she already had a feeling and she said in 4K, y'all already don't fuck with me. She didn't think Alexandra fuck with her. She really don't think that Shaw fuck with her. She don't think I fuck with her. But it's not that we don't fuck with her. She don't really fuck with us. Because when I wanted to have that conversation with Diamond yesterday, it should have been me and Diamond in a box. Diamond didn't want to have no conversation with me. That's why I was able to be attacked by everybody who had vitriol for me. If you look at that video, every person was attacking me who had a problem with me i was not allowed to have a one-on-one -on -one with diamond so we could have cleared the air of what was going on diamond started making accusations that now i don't like her because i don't okay, get hold on, with show. Hold on, no, let, let me finish hold let on, me finish because it's very on, important i just want to know this though but didn't y'all get to a point where you did tell her your grievance with her which was the fact that she did not speak up as to whether or not Something about some friends, right? Manny and Diamond don't give a fuck. Wait, you no, have no, to read a person's she body language. That, I'm looking oh, at Diamond's oh, personal. Did she acknowledge that conversation and speak up as to y'all not being friends or y'all not trying to do a friendship? Didn't she do that much? I, I had to pull that out of her. She was not but willing to stand happen, on the truth. Bro. Didn't it happen? She said it, but it a person could say anything. 
she said, oh yeah, I don't think she was trying to be my friend. She said it after I had to literally drag it out of her, Manny. I had to drag it out of her. But listen to this, what you have to understand, you, what I read is a person body language. I don't have to read what come out your lips. I don't have to read your lips. I'm looking at your eyes. I'm looking at your body language. I'm looking at your disdain with me. And I have never done that woman anything for her not to like me, but support her. Nobody. I don't care what these people think. I don't care what they say. They cannot tell me one thing I did to Diamond, but Diamond to feel that I'm against her. But she feels that because she's against me. She mentioned yesterday that I'm not, I'm not a subscriber. Now, do I need to be a subscriber? Why would she make a point to say that I'm not a subscriber? But she don't tell you that I at least drop two or three hundred dollars in the cash app, but she want to point out. But when I say what I do, I'm wrong with it. She, like, I'm, I'm, gonna tell you, I'm, going I'm gonna tell you, I'm tell you where it's going. I'm finna, I'm finna end it. Yesterday, they had a white woman that was able to get in your panel and address me. Every, and when I addressed her, everybody who didn't like me got up here and told me a new asshole. So why was that white woman able to get in your panel and address me? But when I addressed her, I was wrong. They came to the back of a white woman. Now they want to tear a white woman ass up for uh, offending another black woman. Now, didn't that just happen yesterday in 2K? So what it is, is who they like and who they don't like. They need to stop that bullshit. And like Stallion said, when somebody is wrong, when your favorite creator is wrong, you need to tell them on the bad behavior is going to continue. None of this shit will be happening. If we are able to tell Diamond, Diamond, you're wrong and Diamond accept it. Diamond will tell you in a minute, she not going to apologize. She don't give a fuck about what you think. She about her business. And and that's it. She won't loyalty. Now, all these people can get up here and be loyal to her, but she's not loyal to nobody but Diamond and Hoover. She'll get up here and, and caress Hoover when he does something wrong because he's her friend, or maybe he's just a, the okay. biggest gifter. Maybe so that's it what is, it is. He's okay. the biggest gifter, so he get the protection. Okay. Fuck the rest of us. Okay. Fuck, fuck me because I don't subscribe, but I still send okay. cash outs. Fuck okay. everybody. Okay. Does it matter okay. if you subscribe no. or not? Because okay, everybody in the comments and everybody Listen, on the platform don't subscribe. My, this is my last thing. I promise. This is my last thing I'm going to drop. Yesterday, Dama said they have nine people waiting in the, in, the, uh, in, the, uh, in the waiting room to address drop. Now, what? that's some mean ass shit to fucking say. But like okay. I said, she don't want to tell me what she feels. She'll let everybody else do it. She'll let everybody okay. else drag me in the streets because that's what's in her heart over. to do. And I ain't it's never over. did that woman nothing. And fuck anybody who said that I did. Yes. I came from my heart with every oh. fucking thing I did. The show is over for today. We are done for today. Everyone, please grab your bags. Please grab your chairs. Please Ooh. grab the drinks. Please grab everything and exit. Please, we are ending Many. the show. Many. It is One over. minute. It is over. It is over. <laughs> Everyone, grab your jackets. You grab your coats. It is over. I will see y'all in the morning. Y'all figure it out between then. We will come back on tomorrow at 12. Hopefully y'all are doing better. But as of now, it is over. Let's grab your things. I don't know where y'all got to go, but y'all got to get the H up out of here. I enjoyed y'all. Thank y'all so much for participating. Like always, we did a phenomenal show today. Did not know it was going to go this way. But I appreciate y'all all, but the show is over. Tomorrow we'll be back. The show is over. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Manny. Don't hang up. Don't, don't hang up on me just yet. Okay, somebody in the comment, somebody in the comment said Diamond told me how she felt. The only thing Diamond said how she felt was that she have a big that I have a big ego and nobody ego beats hers. Thank you. No.